Also, I've just noticed I've put the eyes in the wrong spot. G'day guys, welcome back to Cakes by Chopper. Today we are going to make the rainbow fish, as you've seen in the thumbnail. But I'm also calling out one of my favorite YouTubers and longtime friends, Mr. Alonzo Larone. Get a dictionary. Let's go, let's taste some booty. This is what I needed in my life. Was, Was this, this a, a joke? joke? I've noticed he's been doing a lot of uh, food related content on his channel, but nothing with cake. Because when I do cooking videos especially, something tells me it's gonna go bad. We initially started out our friendship with me asking him to request a cake many, many years ago. I was actually thrilled that he did this. Alonzo and I met up at VidCon when Matt and I went the first time and we've done every VidCon since in three countries. So yeah, we've had some good times. We've had some not so good times. <laughs> but we always enjoy spending time together. So now I'm gonna officially call you out on YouTube, Lonzo. I want you to make one of my cakes and I'll, we know how well you make it grilled cheese sandwich, so. <laughs> Now, if you guys wanna help me out with this, if you wanna go comment on his videos, accept Chopper's challenge, then that would be great. There is a link in the card to his channel and his latest videos. Let's get this challenge started. Alonzo, game on. Some of the ingredients you're gonna need, mate, is a eight inch round cake, some fondant, some petal dust. I've just got an assorted colors, green, blue, pink, purple, and silver. Well, that's actually glitter. I have some buttercream, you can just do normal frosting. And you can see here I've got a bowl of the pre-coloured chocolate drops. For tools, you'll need your printed out template, a carving knife, and some sort of mini spatula. So some of you guys who watch my channel have seen this was a uh, cake I did an experiment on. Because I didn't want to chuck it out, I'm going to keep that. Ignore this cut down the middle, Alonzo. Pretend it didn't happen. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure my cake is level. So I'm just going to trim the top off. So I'm gonna cut out my template, cut all around here, and you can discard this gray area because we won't be needing that. And that'll be the shape of your cake. Keep these for later, these are going to be the fins. Now that the cake is level, I'm gonna put my template right on top and then cut away what is not underneath the template. So once you've trimmed off the cake that's not on the template, you're going to take your cake and stand it up. Yours won't have the split down the middle because I'm just recycling my rainbow cake. Now I'm going to look at the fish front on and I'm going to gently carve off the edges just a little bit at a time to get a fish shaped body. This really helps if your cake is chilled, Alonzo, so you might wanna put it in the fridge for half an hour before you start. So you're just literally gonna take off those sharp edges so you get this sort of a bullet point at the front and go down the back too because you want a nice round body. All right, so with our cake, we're going to take a little bit of frosting Secure that to a cake board, leaving enough room for the tail at the back. Then you're gonna take your frosting and give that a generous coat all over the cake. Now to give you a little tip, Alonzo, when I do this buttercream on the cake, you can see the crumbs are coming out in this first layer. So we do what's called a crumb coat, where I go and put a thin layer over the top and make sure all the crumbs are sealed in. Then we chill it for five minutes in the fridge, bring it back out and re-coat it with a thicker layering of frosting and you're just shaping basically the fish with that. And that gives you a clean buttercream finish over the top with no cake crumbs. Okay, so there's your crumb coat done. That's what it should look like. We'll go pop that in the fridge, let it chill, then we'll come back for our second coat. So now it's out of the fridge. I've cleaned up the cake board and we're gonna apply the second layer. All the crumbs should be locked in now and you should get a nice clean finish. You do wanna make sure you put enough frosting for the chocolate drops to stick into. I should also mention, make sure your cake's still got the shape you started with. You wanna make sure it's got the peak at the front for where the lips go and the tail comes down to the bottom. Now with our chocolate drops, I used a fluffy brush and I put them all out on a tray face up and then covered them in different colors so I could get a nice pattern. It doesn't matter what pattern you go on because we're just going for colorful all over. Now with your chocolate drops, I've placed some on the back to mark out where the tail's gonna be and left them open and I've just overlapped them slightly. You wanna cover the entire fish up until the face portion, which you can see on the template where that stops. I find it's easier to work from the back to the front so you don't have the problem of trying to stick them in under. You're just basically laying them on top of each other as you go. We're gonna take some light blue fondant, roll out a big circle, and then trim out the pattern for each side. 
and wrap that around the face. If it's your first time using fondant, use some cornstarch or corn flour, lay that down, and you get your rolling pin and roll out your fondant. I'm gonna do light blue for the face and the fins. I'm just gonna gently pick up my fondant, measure that's the right width, yes. Then I can put the template on this side, trim around. And I know what you're thinking, Alonzo, I don't have those tools, Chopper. You can just use a sharp little pointy knife that you'd peel vegetables with. Just be careful, don't cut yourself. Now I'm gonna take my template, flip that over roughly to where I measured that and cut out the same pattern. Gently round off that bottom. Then you're going to gently start from the top, bring that over the front and ever so gently push that in at the bottom. Now mine's a slightly a little bit too big. So what I'm gonna do is take my knife and you can, you can sort of feel where the scales are. So I'm gonna trim. If a scale comes off, just pop it back into place. Grab some of your little scales and then fix up any patches that are showing. I'm gonna get a little bit of my blue petal dust and go around the edge of his face. Don't worry about the fallout because that'll clean up a little bit later. You can see I've just done a line around the edge Then I'm gonna gently sweep that in. I'm gonna bring some color down the front of his nose. This is not a necessity. You can just leave this off if you like and just have a blue plain face. You don't need to go to this extreme. I'm just doing this for the sake of my video. This will give us a nice little illusion from when you're on the side, it's giving him that full 3D look. For the fin, I'm gonna take some blue fondant, roll it out slightly on an angle so the top is thinner than the base and that'll give it a nice base to stand on. Then once I've cut it out, I'm going to round it off with my fingers, just pinching along gently so it doesn't look like it's just freshly cut out. And then another trick is to like gently give it some motion by giving it a wiggle along. Again, I'm gonna use a little bit of blue around the front. So I'm gonna sit that aside while it's standing, keeping the little wiggle shape that we've given it for some movement, and we'll move on to the tail. Repeat the same process as you did for the dorsal fin, just keeping the shape from the template and get a little bit of color in if you want. So now that we've got all the fins ready, I'm going to place the main dorsal fin on, which we're gonna put in and just push down. And the tail, I'm going to push in at the back. Now then around those, just go in and fill in any gaps with your scales and just bring them right up to the fins. For his eyes, I'm going to roll out two balls, same as the template, push them on. For the rainbow fish's lip, I'm gonna roll two snakes, but I'm just gonna measure how big I need them because you need them to come together, but the top lip is going to bow up a little bit and the bottom lip's gotta come out. And you want it to stretch around, but not too far. So I'm gonna put that on. The top lip's gotta to come up, and the bottom lip has to come down. Also, I've just noticed I've put the eyes in the wrong spot. So I'm gonna pull this off and place the eye up where it should be. It's quite moist here in Sydney at the moment. This is sticking quite well. If you need to, just apply a very small drop of water and rub it along, and that'll help stick to the fondant. Eyes, lips, face, A. Y'all better hide me up. Now to dress this cake up a little bit, if you wanna add some buttercream or anything fancy around the bottom, you can. I'm just gonna use some of this marbled blue and white fondant that I'm going to roll out, because I think it's got a really great pattern on it. What you're just trying to achieve here is just like some little water ripples. Alonzo, you don't have to do this part. This is just for my cake people to show them how to dress a board for this specific cake. Now I'm gonna use these bits that I've just cut off here to make extra little waves that'll come out from his body. I'm actually gonna go through and put on some silver embellishments. Again, not needed, just, just more close to what I want for the rainbow fish. So once you're happy with the wave ruffles around the bottom, you are finished and there is your rainbow fish cake. What do you guys think? Do you guys know Rainbow Fish? Are you familiar with him? Alonzo, I'm gonna go easy on you and I'm gonna let you off. You just need to make a fish cake, not the Rainbow Fish. It can be just any sort of cake that is this fish using the technique. Just make a fish using this technique and you're good. Don't let me down, I believe in you. If you guys are not familiar with Alonzo's channel, please check out the end card where I featured one of his videos and his channel that you can subscribe. Uh, he's one of my favorite YouTubers and has been for a long time. I love him to bits. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you next time. Bye guys.